Good Wednesday evening. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out why I'm upside down. That's an interesting one. Or how about just my glue dots are backwards. There we go, we're right side up again. I'm a little tired tonight, but it will be okay. <laughs> so, alrighty, let's see what we got tonight. We're making boxes out of paper tonight. So you can put your little chocolates or whatever you want um, to be wrapped inside for your special someone that I know will appreciate it because that's what needs to happen, right? So I'm just finishing setting up the computer and we'll get rolling tonight. And hopefully somebody is on, but if not, that's fine too. We'll get it going, no problem. Alrighty, so um, for tonight, we have got the card class coming up. And this is, um, the RSVP starts Saturday, the deadline does. So there's a deadline Saturday, another deadline Monday, and another deadline Wednesday for um, the card class that's coming up next week, believe it or not, already. So um, hold on just a second. You're driving me nuts. Sorry about that. Dog wanted out, and evidently I'm the one to do it. So, um, anyway, so card class is coming up next week. If you do want to come, or if you want a kit, please let me know. Um, because that's what we're doing. There's some other things that I'm working on that will be debuting. Well, let's see. I might pop on for a live, except for our scheduled time. Um, just to debut because I'm working on a virtual class right now that you can order online with a pay button. So that's something new. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, so tonight we are making these boxes. Kind of cool, except this one keeps popping up so I needed a little bit more glue on that. Because of the foiling on the paper. Sometimes it doesn't stick perfectly, so you want to put a glue dot instead of the tear tape or whatever. So just a cute little box to put a couple Lindor truffles in, you know, some Ferrero Rochers. Um, if my honey's listening, you know, um, jewelry, you know, car keys for a new car, you know, all that kind of stuff fits right in there, right? Okay, <laughs> I'm just joking. Kind of. We'll see. So, all of that was done with one piece of paper and the envelope punch board. And you'll see why we have ribbon out in a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm just going to tidy up just a, just a hair. Okay? Alright, so we're going to show you how to make this nice white ribbon into this tonight. At the end of it all. So... Alrighty, so, and then I've just got some accent pieces that were left over from the Valentine box that we did last time, okay? So we've got our trusty envelope punch board. This is a piece of designer series paper out of the Lots to Love new paper out of the Occasions catalog. And it's cut at 8 by 8 okay? So we've got our hearts and our stripes. We need to figure out what's going to go inside and what's going to go outside. Um, since it doesn't seem like I have anybody on, I'm not going to wait for comments. And um, I'm going to put this on the outside. So we're going to take our 8 foot, 8 foot, whoo, listen to me, our 8 inch piece of paper. And I'm going to stick it down here at 2 inch and punch. And we're going to score. Make sure to find where the line is. 
okay now if you don't go down all the way not a problem because you're gonna catch it later okay all right so you're gonna turn and always turn the same way two inch again okay down here yes I have a little bit of notes here <laughs> So I knew I was tired, so I was like, let me write some notes down. So we're gonna punch again, score again. Doesn't matter that I'm not going all the way down because we're gonna catch that later, okay? And the last side here, we're gonna punch again at two inch. And we're gonna score, okay? Got it? So we've got all four sides done, correct? Okay, so now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same exact thing. Two inch, punch. And this is why it didn't matter that you didn't finish the score because you're gonna finish it now, okay? And then you're going to punch it two inch and we're gonna finish that score from before, right? And we're gonna punch it two inch and we're going to finish from before. And we're going to punch at two inch. And you guessed it, finish from before. Okay, so that is what we're looking at. You could probably see it better on this side. I'm not really sure. I'm going to wait for the video to catch up for just a second here. Throw my tabs away. It's lagging a little bit tonight now, isn't it? But we'll be okay. I see that I've got one on. Comment if you want to say hello. So. All right, so we've got um, all our score marks, correct? Yes? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take from this to this, and that's going to be a score. So basically what you want to do is you want to take your mountain, your groove, however you want to say it, your punch, and you're going to stick that right where the punch was. And basically you're going to do a line from this corner to this corner. Okay. So if you stick your valley in there and you find your line, it should go from corner to corner. Okay, so you want to put lines on all of your corners. Two, okay, and three, and last one. Yes, okay. All right, so we're done with this at least for a while. You want to keep um, your burnishing tool out, or if you prefer a bone folder, you can do that as well. Right now, I'm just folding alongside of every single score mark we did. So we've got this one, we've got this one, right? We've got this one. And we've got this one. Okay, so this should, in theory, start looking kind of like a box, right? Okay, so you're gonna fold up one triangle here, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring down basically this triangle down to here, and you're gonna make this push in the middle, and you're gonna make it fold down. See how that becomes almost like a side? So however you do it, just make sure you're consistent in how you do it. Ah, did my fast fuse? Yep, it sure did. It just ran out. One second. Get my backup one. All right. So, so I've got my fast fuse already on here. You can use the... Um, the tear tape instead, you can use glue dots instead. The glue dots didn't tend to work as well, so I wouldn't recommend them, but you can use them. If you use enough of them, I guess you're good. So what you're gonna do is try to line this up. 
And for some reason, this is not, it's probably because I'm live, right? But that's okay. All right. So there's my corner. It's a little messy, but it's okay. And then if you want to glue down the inside of this, you can do that as well. I got to get this one started because it's a new one. All right. And remember your check marks. So you're going to glue this down just like this. Okay. Got it? So that kind of looks like a box, right? At least in theory. <laughs> We're going to get there, I promise. So you're going to kind of fold along here, get your line, stick your thumb down, get this folded. Ah, my corner is not there yet. Okay. What you might want to do, and this is what I did before and this is not working as well this time, but you might want to fold all your edges before you glue. I thought it would be easier, but it's not. So there's another edge. So I am just literally taking the middle of this, pushing in. And some of our specialty papers might be a little easier. This is actually a pretty thick paper that I'm dealing with. So it might make it a tiny bit harder, but you know, it just depends on how sturdy you want it, what kind of look you want, you know, all those kind of things. So I thought for Valentine's Day we had to do. We just had to, right? So stick your corners in, meet your corners, okay? I know it's not like the prettiest thing because I'm reaching and grabbing, but guess what? It still did the job, right? Okay. So I'm just going to glue these down here. And I have not found an easy way to get these done. You do want to take your time and line them up a little bit better than what I'm doing. I am going to grab some glue dots though. So let's see what we can do with these glue dots because it gets exceedingly difficult to um, get your fingers in there <laughs> with the glue. <laughs> yeah, right? So, so I've got, uh, come on, fast fuse work. With the foil on the paper, it's a little bit tricky. So you just want to fold. And the more precise you are, the more concise your box will look. Okay. All right. Let's get some glue on this guy. Okay. Come on. Stick together. It's a little bit more difficult with that foil, like I said before. And you don't necessarily have to um, glue the insides down, but personally I don't like um, looking down a box and having all these fl things flapping all over the place. You can do whatever you want, but I like it a little bit cleaner and neater than, see how that has the inside sticking out? I want those to be down so I can actually use my box. So I'm just going to grab some more glue dots and I'm just sticking them down here so this sticks, obviously, to the side of the box. It also makes it a little more sturdy. So there's my infamous box. Okay. I'll leave those glue dots out for just a second. So, like I said, fill it with whatever. Tuck your tabs down. Now, you can close this with a Velcro. You can close this with a dimensional. You can cut slits so it tabs. You know, it's really up to you on how intricate you want to make this. Um, you can just tie a ribbon around the whole thing. It just really depends. Personally, right now, because I'm doing this live, I'm just going to be quick about it and I'm going to fold them all down 
and I'm gonna grab a dimensional and I'm just gonna pop this down, okay? But like I said, you can do all kinds of different things. It just really depends on what you want. So there's the other one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my new Stampin' Blends and I'm just gonna wrap some of this, let's see, Whisper White. This is our new um, Organza Ribbon. Blanked on the term, I don't know why, but. So I'm just gonna wrap this guy, I'm just measuring at least a little sloppily, we'll just say. Okay, and that's about right. Okay, so I want about double that. Get this cut with my snips and I'm probably off camera doing this, I'm sorry. I will be right back. Okay, and then the chuck cut. All right, so this organza ribbon, I'm just gonna tie around my box. Okay. And it would be easier, obviously, if it is full because there'd be some weight to it and it wouldn't be flopping all over the place, right? So you're going to tie your box here so it shuts and looks all pretty, okay? And I'm just going to tuck my ribbon underneath so when I tie it, it'll kind of stay put. Yes? Is anybody following me here? Okay. All right. No! And that's what I mean. If it had some weight to it, it would be a lot easier to deal with. But mine is empty. I should have put some chocolate in here to weight it down, huh? So I had something for later. But, oh well. All right, so I've got this tied, right? And I'm just going to do a quick little bow. It's not going to be perfect because I want to show you guys. Ah, if my thumb will get out of there. I want to show you guys how to color this and how well it does. Let me just snip the ends real quick. Yes, I wasted some ribbon, but honestly, that's long enough to put on the front of a card. So it's not going to be wasted. It's just going to be put to the side. Okay. So I'm going to grab my cobbler ribbon. And because it's Valentine's Day, I'm just going to take the end of it and I'm going to put it against here so you can see this. Let's see if I can do this without untying. Ah, I'm just going to pull some of it. No problem. Okay. So I've got my ribbon and I'm just trying to get it to lay flat. Okay. Then I've got my brush tip of my alcohol marker. This is Dark Cherry Cobbler, if you're wondering. And look at how that just colors that. So pretty. Okay. So let me do this other side. So you got just a touch of red for Valentine's Day, not the whole thing. If you wanted to color the whole thing, you could do that as well. I wouldn't recommend doing that on the box, of course. But it is something you can do. So just a little splash of red. And then I'm just gonna take my glue dots. You can take dimensionals instead, it's really up to you. This is out of our Lots to Love box. And I'm just gonna stick it here, kind of as a tag kind of thing. And obviously you'd wanna fill this first and everything else. And I'm going to grab some of my dimensionals here so my banner pops up a little bit. If you have trouble peeling that off, stick a dent down in the middle and that edge will come right up for you. Okay. And I've got my 
box, okay, with my red tipped ribbon. So, really up to you on what you want to do, but some quick tips for you for Valentine's Day that's coming up. Um, there is time to order if you prefer to do the gable boxes. If you prefer um, to buy, we have the clear treat boxes still and everything else. So please feel free if you would like to um, get those ordered. You can um, contact me or do that on my website, which is www.johnnydaniel.stampinup.net. That is different from my blog. Um, if you want to follow me on my blog, boy, there's a lot of W's coming out. But anyways, if you want to follow me on my blog, it's www.stampingwithjohnny.wordpress.com. So I think that's about all I have for you tonight. A couple just quick tips on how to get some boxes done. And hopefully somebody put something pretty in it for you. And um, until next time. Talk soon, and feel free to comment. Let me know what you would like to see or not like to see, and we will talk soon. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye.